Hi, I am Blue Saracino, and today I'm here to demonstrate the latest, greatest offering from the guys at Music Man. This is, after many, many requests, finally a two humbucker Albert Lee model. Thank you. Uh, awesome. Uh, I've been using the uh, Albert Lee style guitars for the last, I don't know, maybe six, seven years, eight years, I don't even know. Uh, my first request was, I love this guitar, it looks awesome, can I have two humbucker version? And they made me a custom version, which you see back there. It's the all gold sparkle ones that I've had for, for years and years. Uh, and I guess a lot of people had the same idea. So after, after a bunch of requests, they decided to make a two humbucker version. And this is great because what I've always liked about the guitar is it just kind of had that kind of future retro kind of hip look to it, but it was also kind of, you know, classic in its own regard too. So I liked it because I kind of felt I could put my own stamp on it a little bit as far as the appearance level. It wasn't, you know, now the fact that it has, you know, Albert Lee's name on the headstock being associated with such a monster player, it's a win-win situation no matter how you cut it. Uh, but I kind of like the appearance of it, so I went with it. And uh, kind of from there, I think, uh, you know, they originally had three single coils. It was kind of more of, or, or three soap bars you could go with. Uh, but the two humbucker thing for me really kind of opens it up, puts it in kind of more of a rock or an alternative or a blues, any kind of category. You can do some jazz on it, whatever you want. But having the two humbuckers for me was a big, uh, a big advantage. So that was my request. So I'll take you through it. Um, Obviously, it's. I think the body is. Uh, I think I want it super lightweight. This is, I believe, is an African mahogany body. The neck is an all rosewood neck. It's got 22 frets. I love the fact that it has 22 fret neck because uh, it allows me to put the pickup as close to the neck as possible, and it just gives it that real smooth. <laughs> Very cool, very, just very rich uh, in that position. I, I like that a lot. Uh, as far as the electronics, I'll take you through it. I believe there are two DiMarzio pickups. Uh, it's a volume, a tone, and a five-way switch. But what they've done in uh, using the five-way switch is that you can uh, get a whole bunch of combinations. For example, position one is just your standard humbucker. Position two is both pickups with the outer coils uh, engaged, and it has more of a spankier. Position three is just a full humbucker for the bridge and the middle. Position four is the two humbuckers engaged, but using, the, I want to say, the inside coils. And that has a... And then position five is just your typical... It's your typical, uh, you know, uh, pickup selection, which is which is good. Uh, I don't know why it is, but for some reason, Ernie Ball always seems to have a very good balance. I like the fact that it can be kind of rich and lush. You know. But at the same time, it can also just be real tight, low end. I don't know if that's the way they. Uh, I don't know how it does. It just they end up they end up making it work. So. Um, a couple other things to point out, which are, are, you know, I think are a big advantage to a lot of the uh, Music Man stuff is the um, compensated nut, which is great because it allows you to kind of play in tune all the way up the neck, which is a big, uh, a big plus, especially when you're trying to make a record and things being out of tune drive you nuts. Uh, I also like the fact that it's got your typical, you know, Ernie Ball build qualities, things built like a tank. Uh, and like uh, all the other product that Music Man puts out, I believe it's all USA, hand built, 100%. They've been doing it for, I want to say, 26 years now, it's a pretty good track record. I'm Blue Saracino, and if you have any questions about the new two humbucker Albert Lee, please go to music-man.com.